Hello friends, my name is Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Microsoft Project and how we can use the status bar in the Microsoft Project uh, software. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, Microsoft Project is basically a very well known software. Uh, made by Microsoft uh, Corporation for making the mic uh, for making the project plan actually so it's a very good very well known software for project management and you can use this software for uh, making the project plans so today we shall discuss about that how we can use this software to make uh, to use the status bar so our main focus today will be on the uh, status bar of uh, the uh, Microsoft project I have entered a simply uh, a, a field a task one and you can enter the task one like that now please see here this is called the area of this status bar this area this one and this one basically in the Microsoft project we have two sections uh, of the uh, status bar one is the left status bar and sec uh, second one is the right status bar so now just click here and right click here on the status bar so you see this uh, uh, option or uh, like uh, here are multiple options like available cell mode calculation macro recording filter auto filter and uh, for example view shortcuts zoom uh, slider so many options are available let me show you one thing for example if you see ready is written here if I just click here so it will be removed if I click here ready again came back uh, other options are also available for example this is the zoom bar available and you don't want the zoom slider here so if I click here so it will be removed if I click back it will be came back again so um, basically status bar show you different statuses and you can customize basically right now we are customizing the status bar so you can customize the uh, status bar as per uh, your requirement and uh, you can do the uh, filtering based customization based uh, on as per your need so right now this is the left status bar if i click here um, this is this is the right section of the status bar here options are available like gan chart this is the gan chart uh, this is the task usage this is the team planner this is the uh, resource sheet and this one is the zoom bar uh, friend uh, these uh, uh, basically charts are uh, needs more detail so we shall discuss this in uh, in the next video right now just remember just try to understand these types of view charts will be available here in this status bar this is the zoom like for example if i uh, this is the uh, timeline section okay so if i uh, like zoom in so uh, you can see that it is doing the zoom in like that okay if i zoom out so it why it will do like that so you can do the zoom in or zoom out at the time out uh, time uh, timeline section as per your need as per your requirement also uh, if you just see in the ribbon section please remember that ribbon is this section from this to this this is the ribbon section and here you see this is the zoom section available in the uh, in the ribbon section as well okay so this is the zoom section so from here you can also use the ribbon section uh, zoom option as well so zoom you can use from here as well so uh, friend um, we have tried to explain uh, the concept of uh, the status bar uh, just try to remember again that is a uh, status bar has two section left section and right section left section belongs to the tasks uh, related which we have which we are entering here and the right section belongs to the timeline sections and uh, timelines depends on the uh, basically uh, this right section actually so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video 
if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends